Hello everyone, welcome to the week 1 math 1 graded assignment solution video. So let's start with the first question. It is asking about which of the following are irrational number. So earlier in this week we have studied about irrational, irrational real number, integers and many more stuff. So uh, one by one we will look at the option. So the first option is 2.9999 and so on. So it can be represented in the terms of PYQ. Okay. So that's why this is a rational number. The second number is cubic root of 3. So basically this is an irrational. The third option looks like it is irrational but uh, we have to, okay, so we have to expand it. So root 8 can be written as 2 root 2 minus root 2 and it is multiplied by root 18. That means 9 root under 9 times 2. So we can write this as 3 root 2 plus root 2 okay so simply it will become root 2 times uh, 4 root 2 so it will become 8 okay so it is giving an integer so integer is a rational number so that's why this is not an irrational number so the last option is root 8 plus root 2 and root under 12 minus root 3 so let's uh, expand it so root 8 can be written as 2 root 2 plus root 2 okay and uh, root 12 can be written as root under 4 times 3 so it will become 2 root 3 minus root 3 so it is basically uh, 3 root 2 multiplied by root 3 so basically it is giving 3 root under 6 so this is an irrational number so now moving to the second question so basically this is asking about which type of relation is x minus y is equal to 0 okay so if we draw a graph for x minus y is equal to 0 so it will pass through origin like this one so x is equal to y so basically this is one one function so it is a what it is a transitive relation r is a function r is not an equivalence relation r is a reflexive relation r is a symmetric relation okay so for so let's start with some example so let us assume x is equal to 1 then y will be equal to 1 if x is equal to 2 then y is equal to 2 okay so this will form 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 okay 4 comma 4 so basically this is a symmetric lesson yes this is reflexive obviously yes this is function yes this is transitive relation no so that's why this is not an equivalence relation so moving to the third question so it is asking about which uh, is one one function okay so out of these option which are one one function so the first is given by x plus y is greater than 2 okay so let us understand the graph of this function so let us assume x plus y is equal to 2 then it is having slope is equal to minus 1 and the intercept will be let us suppose x is equal to 0 then y will cut at 2 and when y is equal to 0 then x will cut at 2 so that's why it will go like this okay so it is taking all the numbers x plus y is greater than 2 so let us assume y is equal to 2 okay so here y is equal to 2 then x can take value uh, from 0 minus 1 min uh, sorry 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so basically these are not a function Similarly, this one is not a function. This one uh, is a function and this is a 1 1 because it is a straight line. y is equal to x square. So basically, the graph of y is equal to x square is like this one. So if you draw a parallel line uh, to the x axis, then it will cut at 2 points. So this is not a 1 1 function. So out of these uh, four options, only third is correct. Moving to the fourth one, 
so it is asked about which are true statements so function if the domain is natural number and now the output is real number so uh, such that f of x is equal to x square is not on to okay so the range of x square is always greater than or equal to zero so basically a range of x square so the graph of x square is like this y equal to x square so it will uh, generate value or output from zero to infinite okay and the codomain is all real number so it is not equal to r okay and natural number so domain is obviously all real number but it is bounding that it should uh, include zero so the only positive axis is, is is in the domain okay so we will not take this one so, but again the uh, range will be from zero to infinite so it will not be equal to r okay so that's why this statement is correct the second statement is the relation 1 1 1 2 3 1 on set a 1 2 3 is a function so for being a function only for being a function let us assume this is domain and this is codomain okay so this should be mapped like this this should not map like this okay so output will be only unique okay so from set a the output will be unique not like this one so but here the output is one one and one two so this can't be the case so that's why this is not a function the third statement is uh, mod x is not a one one function yeah obviously this is correct the graph of mod x is like this one if you draw a uh, parallel line to the x axis then it will cut at two points so that's why this is not a one one and it is asking about true statement so that's why this is also correct the fourth statement says x minus one the whole square is one one and on to okay so on to and range is all real number so x minus one x uh, the whole square so the graph will look like this one okay so this is x is equal to one so the range is from zero to infinite all uh, positive real number and here it is the domain is all real number obviously this is correct but this is not a one one if you draw a parallel line to the x axis then it will cut at two points so that's why this is not one one and this is not on two okay so this statement is incorrect so for the fourth question only uh, first and third are correct the fifth question is asking about cardinality of the set a where set a is the set of integers which are not in the domain of f okay so this is a d so let us uh, first read the question suppose f is a function side that domain is r and output is our real number and it is defined by f of x root over x square minus 16 divided by x plus 4 so first we will find the domain okay and d belongs to z that means integers so the domain will be equal to x square minus 16 should be equal uh, greater than equal to 0 and x plus 4 should not be equal to 0 so the domain will be x belongs to minus infinite to minus 4 union 4 to infinite okay but here x should not be equal to minus 4 and this is and condition so the final domain will be x belong to minus infinite to minus 4 exclude it is excluded minus 4 and included 4 4 to infinite okay so this is d okay now a be the set of integers which are not in the domain of a okay so the the set of integers that is not in the d is minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 okay so then find the cardinality so this is set a so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total number which are in the set a okay so the cardinality for set a is equal to 8 moving to the sixth one 
so there is a set s and a a belongs to natural number and it is less than equal to 6 so we have to count it from 0 to 36 okay so 0 to 36 a belongs to 0 to 36 and r1 r2 in relation such that s to s defined as r1 x and y such that y is equal to 3x okay so we will take uh, first we will make r1 so first we will take uh, x is equal to 0 then output will be 0 comma 0 1 comma 3 2 comma 6 and so on so it will go to 12 comma 36 okay and r2 will be y equal to x square so it will be 0 comma 0 1 comma 1 2 comma 4 3 comma 9 and 4 comma 16 and 5 comma 25 and 6 comma 36 okay so we have to find the cardinality of set r1 okay r1 minus intersection of r1 intersection r2 okay so r1 intersection r2 r1 intersection r2 will be 0 comma 0 and 3 comma 9 okay so there are only two value here so it is 0 comma 0 and 3 comma 9 and r1 is this total number okay so we have to find the cardinality so we will remove these two number from the set r1 so there are total 13 number and we remove two so the left out will be 11 okay so the for the sixth question the cardinality of the final set uh, will be 11